Hello guys and welcome again to another video. Uh, today I'll be using a head cam, <laughs> as you can see for the first time, so bear with me. And today I'm going to show you how to change a rear suspension spring on this big thing. There. So I need to MOT it. I went through the MOT and they found out that uh, rear suspension is broken but I haven't noticed it since I had it so let's begin I think we need to start with we need to start with uh, showing you how the suspension spring looks like that needs to be changed I borrowed this from my friend very good friend and that's the spring we'll be changing I'm gonna I'll, I'll probably won't change it today but I think I'll I will finish it tomorrow also I have bought these and they are as advisory front brake brake lines because they're starting to go so I bought these eBay purchase 14 quid each might as well change them because uh, I will be selling the car so I want the next owner to have nice and beautiful brake lines okay so that's the spring it's very beautiful Hopefully it'll fit, but it looked like a, a fit. It looked like it will fit. Okay. So, what we need to do first is lift up the car. And for that, we're going to need to take out everything. Everything. Put it there. If any of you guys want a tow rag, well looked after, uh, you know what what's what's been changed. You know what needs to be changed. But when you're gonna buy it, those things are gonna be changed, and it's gonna have full 12 months of MOD. This will be a very reluctant sale, but nevertheless, it has to be sold because I've got this thing as my daily driver and I want the new Toreg the new body one MK2 I think it is MK2 okay so let's put it on yeah. big jack let's put it on the big jack I know it's a very late finish, uh, finish, finish, very late start today, but I had some stuff to take care of in the morning, and then we went, me and my son, son went to a pub for a nice meal, so that took very a very nice time that, that was. Okay, so before I lift it any further, I might as well release those. Release them. Okay, so first of all, we need to remove those clips. Then a special key, locking key nut, and release that one first with a swift. There, released. Now let's release the other ones, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna 
take um, so I don't have to play with these. I'm just gonna use the my friend's impact driver and you will see the impact that it will make. And, uh, that's my next purchase. Don't know whether I'm gonna buy the same one, you know, power-wise, or I'm gonna go for a bigger one, because I really, really like this one. It's nice and small, not too big. Okay, I'm gonna need 19, 19 head for this. 19 head will be in here. I've looked online and there wasn't a single video on how to change a spring. I was hoping there will be, you know, somebody, somebody already changed one and filmed it. So it'd be a very easy, you know, copy, but no, nobody has done it. If they've done it, they haven't filmed it. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Look. Now, let's lift it even further. Okay, so now it's in the air. Look. See? See how easy that is. Where's the... Ah, oh, I've left it. That's it, done. Nice doggy. Calm down, dear. Okay. So, as you can see, there, that's where he's broken. That's where it was. <laughs> so I need to get that out. And I've looked on I've looked on eBay for spare parts, you know, like uh, to buy the whole assembly of this thing. And I've checked that there's only like two you can see there. Stop barking. You can see that there's like two, two like hooks and they're just literally screwed to the body from the bottom up. So hopefully that will be an easy fix. Okay, so let's start again. The dog is now gone. You can see that there's like a a hook like a hook like that it just hooks to the body and it's one two screws one two screws on the other side it's very hard to get the camera in where you can you can see there that's the the hook as such let's zoom out now so let's just need to check the axis first on the bottom it's easy you can see there's one screw and uh, this will be this will be on a tension there it goes down into there so i need to release this and possibly possibly lift that up because it'll be on the tension or something to release it out and when i'm gonna release it out of this one it'll be just a I think four screws in there and it should just drop <sighs> uh, 
It looks like a big jug, which you probably isn't. All the crap on here. Let's begin. Okay, so first of all, I think what we're gonna do is release this bottom bolt, which is uh, 19, 19 mil. You can barely see it, you can't see it, it's there. See? It's this one. There. So I think I need to release that first. And get the WD-40 fluid on all the bolts so it's easier so it starts eating away and penetrating so it's I don't have to wait then so I'll get I'll get it all sprayed and then I'm gonna start by removing the bottom one we'll probably need to brace this yes Let's start spraying. There. It's very awkward. Awkward access. And there. It's even more awkward. In there. Whoa, a little bit of fart, it didn't hurt nobody. It's very, very awkward. It's just a little bit on there and a little bit on the other side. I don't know how I'm gonna get to it. But I will. There we go. I can see two easy bolts and two obstructed bolts. Which is a shame. God damn it. Yeah, such is life. Let's begin with the bottom one. So you can see maybe just a little bit of what I'm doing. Okay, so put the extension there. Point the bolt. Awkward. Now I can see I can't use because of this, I can only use a wrench, so I'm going to get myself a 19mm wrench. Okay, so let's try and use this. Failed. Okay, let's try and use this. Is this, this feels like it's 18. I guess the 18. I'm literally just coming back from the camera. 
up having a very, very big stake. It was literally barely moving. Let's try 18. Yes, it's an 18 mil spanner. Okay, is that it? Let's try that again. Okay. I can see the other the other side is spinning so I'm gonna have to hold it somehow I will need another 18 mil spanner then but do I have another make hmm or what I could do is hold this side because that's the nut and the other side and the other side is this so I can still use that can't I? Uh, all I can do is try and I need an 18 head Okay, let's put the head on, and now... <clears throat> like that. Uh, I need to hold it. Not just yet. <sighs> Feels a bit rusty. Okay, so I need to mm -hmm, unscrew that. This one does, just doesn't want to go. Maybe a little bit more of WD-40. This side and on the other side. So much stuff I can't barely, barely, barely reach it. There. Okay. Let's try that again. Position you there. See this one is moving as well. I can't. The spanner is too. The spanner is too small. This one is too big. But I might be able to use it with. Hmm. With a long arm. Where's my long arm? My long arm is in the Audi A2. Oh, 
I've got the long arm. Will this fit? <laughs> of course it won't. Fuck. Hmm. Okay, so the best I can do is just a wrench. this one okay I think what, what I need to do is move it up and down up and down and then just get it moving and then maybe it'll go <clears throat> This one, 19. I need 18. Where's my 18? Oh, where's my 18? Eighteen, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, eighteen. So you will see the whole process of me either breaking this bolt or releasing it. Oh. Talk to me. I'm a bolt whisperer. A whisperer. Okay, maybe a little bit more WD on this side. And on the other. Hmm. Okay, so let's hold it there. Lift this. Oh. Speak to me, boy. Oh, I think it's going. I think it is going. Let's try the battery. Oh. Look. is going yes okay now have I got any pressure in here can anyone tell me I don't know will I be able to put this thing back on when I release it mm, I should be able I should be able just to kind of leave it there Boop. Or press on there or lift this up I think I'll be able so I'm gonna release it uh, there. I don't know what you can see from here to there but there's a bolt behind there maybe it's even better for you look from this side 
there. So you can see even more. So that's what I'm doing. Holding and then you can see that it's going. But I don't think I'm gonna have to do I need to to compress the spring. Do I need to compress the spring? Anybody knows? Of course I need to compress the spring because it's on the tension. So if I'm gonna release it, it'll just go <clears throat> Of course, now that it's broken, it's not. It, it doesn't have so much tension. But I think I'm better off putting something on. There. Because this, when it's new, it has lots of tension. So, but this is, as I said, this is broken, but it still has tension. So I think if I release that, it'll just <laughs> shoot straight through this road here, through the cement, and it'll go into the other side of the world. What's the other side of the world? Australia, probably, yeah. It'll probably go into Australia. It'll just rip the whole thing into there, and that'll be that. So I'm better off, uh, I think, putting a little bit of this on a little bit of that, and make it a tight, and make it tight, make it a little bit tighter, please. Mm hmm. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get a battery driver there, but I can still tighten it with the wrench. Okay, so let's do that. But I can still tighten it with the wrench. Okay, so let's do that. And this is still filming, so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so what you need to do is line these up. See, see, they need to compress evenly because you might end up with this being there. So it's not going to compress, it's going to compress evenly, but it's going to stick out here more. So what you want to do is take these all the way there and make now hold them and spread them as far as you can. As far, as far as you possibly can. Now, now you look for a space for the available space for this to hook on the top and on the bottom in this case I think this will be one of the places so I can start tightening it and the other place would be on the other side I think there and there on the three on the three uh, rings, so I need to sort out this one as well. Okay, I can't remember how much was that, but it's very useful. I've used it s a few times, and it worked worked a treat.
the it's even when you when you're changing the fronts you can even get a uh, you know screwdriver battery screwdriver on that so it's just beep, beep, and it just you know compresses the spring easily okay I'm gonna get some cardboard in here Is this filming? I don't know, but I'm singing so. Yes, it's filming five minutes in. And everybody's looking at me, and I don't give. I don't give I don't give These jokes have to stop My cardboard My cardboard There we go Got my cardboard, got my leg and got myself a water because the beer is chilling in the freezer well, not, not the freezer but the fridge mm. oh. mm. okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna get on on the ground there. I'll try and see what's what and put that clamp that clamp. See one ball there, one ball there, one ball there, and this one's gonna be a bit of a pain. But we will see. We will see. Okay, so I'll probably won't be able to put it all the way but I can only do three rings so I need to make it smaller for three rings there and I think from memory this is 12 mil spanner Okay, so let's get the 12 mil spanner. You can tell I'm a bit tired, but it needs to be done. I'm basically saving tomorrow's time for doing this now and prepping. Because if I need to get some tools or whatever, I can go to the shop tomorrow morning rather than spend tomorrow morning doing this thing and then finding out that I need some tools and that's how you do it and that's how you do it this is how you do it see you just tighten it 
and it compresses the spring and then you need to compress a little bit on the other side uh, compress a little bit there uh, so it compresses evenly because otherwise otherwise the other one will fall off like it's it's becoming loose so literally just taking off taking off the pressure off of that spring so it doesn't it doesn't shoot into Australia when I'm gonna release that bolt Because I think there were some instances where people released released that bolt, bottom bolt, and uh, there was so much tension in the spring that they just shot up to the other side of the world, and the other side of the world vol volcano. Many people die. So think about think about the people. Okay, so. What do we do now? I don't know. Release it further then. So let's put it, put it there and see what's happening. Okay, so I've released it. It's now off. This, this thing this thing uh, I'll probably need to let me just turn the flash on huh. much better you can see now there so this thing's a bit on a bit of tension but I don't know whether it stands I think it stands up I don't know I'll just put something in here and try and take that thing off I'll just play with it see which way it's going and I will put you here somewhere if you don't mind there there see that's probably the best place <sighs> okay so I need to release that. Let's try this first. This one's loose. Yeah, it tensions up. So when you change it, you need to press on it and put this thing in. Okay, so now what we do is we put some leverage. Oh, you fell. <laughs> Come here. You poor thing, you fell. I need some rubber on this. I need some rubber on there. Emergency, emergency. She wants emergency. So I need to put some rubber on there because it just, it slips out because it's just plastic. And there's no rubber, so I need to put some rubber on there. But not right now. What I need, what I need to do now 
is put some leverage on there and release this thing out. So I'll position you there. There. So you can see. Now is this thing on? Yeah, it's on. I need to charge the battery on this. I need to charge the battery on this. Because the battery is dying. Okay. Quickly. Okay. Leverage. Where's my leverage? Let's use this one. The screwdriver. No. No. Let's try this. No. Let's try. This, this, okay. Oh. See, loose. That's it. All I need to do now is release those bolts that you can't see. Let me try and zoom in so you can see. Um, no, not this one. No. 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 Can you see it from there? No. I can't even see it. You know what we're gonna do? Go under the car and we'll see it. Quickly. Okay, so it is there. See? One, two, and then one, two on the other side. And that's tomorrow, probably. Okay, so now quickly to finish off, I'll put the <coughs> the post here somewhere, <laughs> so I can drop the car and don't need to worry about it falling off the jack, so I can take the jack off. Okay, so I think we can do here, because it's like literally it's it's like it was made for it and just need to lift it and slowly drop it and that's it I am done for today Let's get my tools. And we go home. Have a beer. Pick it up tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. I hope it, it won't rain. Okay. So what we need to do now is to drop everything in here. Literally, literally, just throw everything in. Uh, 
Hoop. Done. I'm done for today. Ah, nine. Let's put this in here.